We wish you a Merry New Year's. We wish you a Merry New Year's. What's up, y'all, man? It's your boy quizzy man i'm back with another video happy new year's y'all happy new year's bro it's a new year it's time to get to it got my son in the background spraying with lotion oh, bro so today we watching some more bill burn burn is, is back he is back and he mean business before we get started Hit that like button, bro, man. Do it for your boy, man. Because I need that. I need a little help, man. If you want more Bill Burden, just hit that like button, man. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, man. I'm going to try my best not to laugh, but you know that never works. They spell Big Bill Burr and South Park. It never fucking works, bro. I don't know. I rented that movie uh, Pride recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all-black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all-black swim team. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they gonna make? <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> you know? I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? <laughs> no, it's like those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with roots, right? White guilt was at an all-time high. I can barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay? <laughs> Channel, dude, please turn the channel. They still hit them. Fuck, turn the channel. Hey, bro, Roots was hard for everybody, bro. Like, trust me, I, it was a hard time for me to watch Roots and Janko. This is gonna be on all week. Jesus Christ, turn the channel. <laughs> in the 80s, there was like a football movie, and then like Cuba Gooding want to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? And now it's all the way down to swimming, and I gotta admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> you know? It's a recreational activity. <laughs> Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool, you know. I never saw any white guy like trying to like fucking like prevent people. <laughs> so you're just like making this shit up. I'm not. I'm not being a dick here either. Okay. Just to clarify, you know, I just don't want anybody coming up to me after the show. Like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. Man. <laughs> I'm not saying. And he said, well, I don't think blacks, and these are people, blacks, people, oh, yeah, I yeah, I'll fuck with you. Put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying, these movies, like, the characters aren't even believable. Like, they always have to have, like, that, the, the over-the-top, uninhibited white racist character, you know? You know that guy? He's a guy, like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? Yeah. He's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'll be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out! <laughs> he's got a big bang on his forehead, just screaming shit, look, not even looking around, you know? <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah. People look around first, to make sure the, you know, to make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers like. Hey, yeah, on me, but what racism is behind closed doors, bro. Dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? Not just some guy just standing up there. They broke in the pool. Do you approve of this? I work at the bank. Could I be fired immediately, please? <laughs> well, the honest thing is, those movies are starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones? who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? <laughs> no Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that an issue? <laughs> <laughs> dude, is White dude's the only ones walking around. Well, you guys don't eat cows? <laughs> you a bunch of fags? <laughs> I don't know why you're wearing sandals. You guys wearing sandals. You guys are fags. Fuck <laughs> <Well>, duh. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know? Just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're hanging out. You had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got headlights or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool! Wash your hair, motherfucker, right? Just... <laughs> Make it seem a little more. 
<laughs> yeah, cause black people, bro, black people don't really take a lot of shit lying down, bro. We definitely had said something back. If it was some racist shit going on, especially our parents, or our parents' parents, they would. Well, our parents' parents, maybe they probably might. They probably was like, yeah. Hey, but our, definitely our parents, they said something back, bro. So he is right about that shit. Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. I mean, where the fuck do you go from there? We do like ping pong. <laughs> they were the first all black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddles. They're the paddles. <laughs> <laughs> he said this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go out there and show the white man your bed, ping pong. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, I don't know, so it's just weird bringing this shit up, but, no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either, because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. <laughs> I do, I, that's why I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. What happened? What'd you do? I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious, man. I tried to suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man. I want to take over some shit, right? <laughs> I start telling people what to do. I want to go pool the lake, blaming on my secretary, you know? <laughs> this dude is hilarious, bro. Dude, I don't like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because it always has to be like some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. Yeah, facts. He ain't like, lying. It never happens, you know? Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he, like, tried to, like, teach me how to dance, you know? <laughs> hey, bro, like, a good example, that movie Hitch, bro. I'm talking about, like, he, this is, this is why I like Bill Burr and good comedians just like him, because they talk about some of the shit that either, A, we don't think about, or B, that we don't really just talk about, like, Imagine that, just all these movie stereotypes. Like, I be, I have white friends. I don't teach them how to be black. I teach them, well, not. Nah, damn. I do teach them, damn, I do teach them different type of slang. I do teach, I do tell them what words mean. I do tell them how to conduct themselves. I don't know, man. I don't know, Bill. I teach, I teach my white friends a lot. You know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? go to his neighborhood and like try to like save a school you know <laughs> how many times are they gonna make that movie you know that movie the white person goes into the projects they just have to make a difference <laughs> you know they just made that movie again with uh was it hillary swank it's like did you even need to go see it <laughs> it's like let me guess she shows up and they don't accept her right <laughs> cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason, right? <laughs> and he convinces her, he convinces her to give her one more chance, right? So then she goes back down there, she starts drawing out their inner beauty, next thing you know they put a do-rag on her, she starts fucking <laughs> Hey, bro, that is that is Freedom Riders in a nutshell, bro. I love Freedom Riders. I love that movie. I love it. I don't nobody mess with that movie. I'm not here to talk shit about Freedom Riders, but that is Freedom Riders in a nutshell. Oh, for the love of God, stop making that fucking movie. Dude, the amount of times they made that movie, I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit, you know? Right. That's my guy saves ghettos. That's what he does, you know? <laughs> I sit around, I watch Sports Center, you know, he's in the projects every weekend. Damn. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? That's a tough job, too. It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime the white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. <laughs> the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> just leaving all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? <laughs> Go down there, try to do something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. <laughs> it's a three and all prescription. <laughs> <laughs> That is the video for today, bro. I'm talking about Bill Burr is hilarious. This is my boy, man. This is my boy. We're gonna have to re react to some Patrice O'Neal as well, bro. When I tell you this shit is hilarious, y'all, do me a favor, man. Hit the like button, man, for my son drive me crazy, bro, because he is in the back doing all kinds of crazy stuff, man. So, y'all, thank y'all for checking it out. I appreciate y'all. Peace.